Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing. You may recall I did a few videos on this deck building game Star Realms. Well, I liked it enough to try another game by the same development team called the Epic Card Game. It is a game for two to four players ages 13 and up. Epic is a fast-paced card game of fantasy combat designed by the creators of Star Realms, Hall of Famers Rob Doherty and Darwin Castle. Epic gives you, sorry, I see some glare. Epic gives you all the great gameplay of trading card game at a tiny fraction of the cost. Two to four players can play a sealed draft or constructed out of this one deck. This deck is a complete game containing 120 playing cards and double-sided token cards and a rule book at a second deck to support five to eight players. So that's pretty cool. So let's open this up and see what the art looks like. Whoops, sorry if my voice gets a little scratchy. I, uh, allergy season is already upon us. There, I should've took that off before I tried to read the back. But let's see how we look. It's a big old deck of cards, just like Star Realms. And it is a standalone card game. I don't know if there's expansions or not. I didn't check, but got a nice little instruction book. This instruction book, so, hmm. I wonder if it's a little more complicated than Star Realms. I don't think it's like just a fantasy version of Star Realms though. I think it's a, I'm sure it's 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 its own game if that's proper grammar. Okay, there's the instruction book. Hey, this almost looks nothing like what I thought the art would look like. I thought it would look uh, kind of cartoonish, but this looks a lot more serious. Well, cool, let's see. Uh, I can't find the little notch. There it is. Maybe. There we go. We'll just glance over some of the art and call it a day. Amnesia. The cards are, yeah, they're, they're a little flimsy. I mean, not the flimsy is bad. It makes it easier to shuffle and not bend on the back. Is it all the same? It's not. These must be these double-sided token cards. Okay. Lots of wolf. Ooh, the demon token. I like the demon. Okay, we have wolves and demons on that side. And on this side, we've got human tokens and zombie tokens. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. The art gets a big thumbs up from me right away. We'll just flip through a few of these. I don't know how to play this, obviously. And if you've seen some of my, lots of angels. If you've seen my other unboxings, you know I don't really take a look at the rules until I've had the chance to play. There must be a heavy zombie theme in this though. Ooh, a blue dragon, airborne. Hmm. You know the, the layout does look somewhat similar to Star Realms. It'll be interesting to see how it compares. I'm really gonna just flip through these pretty fast. I haven't even been paying attention if there's doubles. I don't think there are, these look alphabetical. Okay, so Star Realms had a lot of the same cards. It looks like this does not. So that tells me right there, it's probably a different type of game. You must have a heavy undead presence, vampires and zombies. And a really cool looking dinosaur thing. I like this art. I don't know why I was thinking it'd be kind of kiddish because this is totally not kiddish at all. The final task. This looks fun. This might be cooler than Star Realms. I don't know for sure. Fireball, flame strike, flash fire, forge mage apprentice, fork lightning. A lot of these have 
similar names to magic cards, but you can't avoid that when you have a game with thousands and thousands and thousands of cards, especially a fantasy game. There's a heavy dinosaur presence. I think I like this. Dinosaurs and dragons are two of my favorite things. And we've got inner peace. So we've got some humans too, it looks like. Yeah, another human there. Another dinosaur. Whoops. Said it was ages 13 and up, but my 10 year old's pretty good at figuring these things out. So I'll see if I can play a couple hands with him and do a quick video going over the rules and sharing some thoughts. Pick Alpha. Plague. What's that say? Plentiful dead. Yeah, lots of zombies. I'm gonna drop these if I'm not careful. There. Yeah, I'd say definitely not a kid, not a kiddish game. More werewolves and vamp. So I love this concept. Hey, let's have a game with werewolves and vampires and dragons and hydras and dinosaurs and how could that not be cool? If you have played this game, why don't you leave us a comment and share your thoughts on it, if it's worth playing or not. It wasn't expensive. I want to say it was around 15 bucks for this box. Okay. And I kind of went fast with that, just so that there's so many cards, I didn't want this video to last forever, so. Sorry if you're trying to read the cards or anything like that, but you can always pause or find pictures online. But that is it for the game. It looks like it'll be fun, not a lot in the box, which is understandable when it's just a box of cards. If you'd like to support this channel, you can like this video and subscribe. You can visit us on the web at tabletopjason.com where you can find links to this and all the games I take a look at. And if you'd like to see my deck building card game check out 52dragons.com where you can see sample cards links to where you can buy the game or sign up for patreon to receive new and exclusive cards each and every month but that'll do it for this video so thanks for watching and i'll be back soon